what's up y'all welcome back to my channel i use this palette here supreme nudes from artist Decor, and this eyeshadow palette is fire this is the travel palette actually and it's fire okay and that's what i use to achieve this look so if you guys want to know how i did this then stay tuned and if you guys want to see shay shay then stay tuned hey so it's my friend's birthday we're going to the club so i'm starting off with my l'oreal voluminous um blue cobalt mascara and i'm brushing into my brows basically this just works as a brow gel for me even though it's a mascara mascara when you brush it through your lashes it just you know thickens up your lashes and stuff so and as you see it does my brows the exact same way Oh, I'm also just because I want to define the tips, the ends of my brows. I'm going to be using this Sephora Waterproof Okay um, Ultimate Gel Liner. It's like a navy blue or whatever. I like a navy blue brow. And I'm just going to like start from the arch here and just curve it around. So I also like to just kind of come in the front of the brow, just like. I don't know why I need my brow to be so close to my nose. I don't know. Shay Shay, what is you doing? See, she doing something she's gonna be. It's just about like filling in the brow, evening it out. You see what I'm saying? I'm using my Simple Human Mirror, and you can use my code FD Fuck Nigga Free. I'm F R E E Fuck Nigga Free for a hundred percent off brows are uneven but it doesn't even matter all right going to be concealing the eyebrow okay so i'm going to be using my nw35 pro longwear concealer for mac i'm usually well i am an nw40 type of girl but tonight you know i'm in a nightclub i can do whatever i want to do so i'm just going to take this little definer brush underneath my brow I guess I'll concealer the top of it too. I think we left this trend back in like 2017. So do as I say, not what I do. That doesn't make any sense, yeah. Cause I just said do it. I don't recommend this. I don't. Cause like this is so out of style, but at the same time. I want to do it though. These are some big eyebrows, boy, I tell you. These eyebrows are not what's up, bro. This one's kind of better. Yeah, I think that's I don't know, but whatever, it doesn't even matter. Anyway, so I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs um, eye primer here and just kind of putting that all over the eyelid. The palette that I want to try today is Supreme Nudes uh, from the Artist Couture line it's just straight matte nudes like it's totally my vibe it's so cute and this is actually a travel palette like this would be perfect to travel with like no cap and i just want to create a beautiful neutral cut crease so i'm gonna go into create here uh okay so i'll go into create and just like create my crease I'm using like a really nice big fluffy br brush and I'm literally right up in that crease boy I ain't even playing with him then do the other side what's up Shay Shay mommy 
What's up, baby cake? Say hey. Say hey, you little fish, fish, and fire, You wanna get on the bed? This is the finding that crease and I just want to like bring it out, cat eye it out. I appreciate a matte nude palette with essential shades. I haven't done my makeup on in so long. I'm a little nervous. Now I'm going to be taking Transcend, this shade here, and I think I'm just going to like um, warm up. Yeah, I'm just gonna like blend out um, the edge of that brown there. I haven't done a cut crease on myself in so long. Like, I think that's what it is. That's why I'm like so nervous. Cause I'm recording, so like, of course, if there's any time where I'm gonna mess up, it's gonna be when I'm recording. You know how that go. I'm gonna like blend out the edges of this brown here. I just cut crease so many clients within this past weekend. But now that it's on me, I'm like, what do I do with my hands? I don't know. I'm going to go into Engrave here, which I believe is a darker brown than Create. And just really, really define that crease, like for real, for real. Okay, I, I, I think it's going. Should I zoom in? I think that's better, yeah. The thing about cut creases is it's like, they're slick, kind of, no going back once you cut that crease. So you gotta make sure that this is as defined as it needs to be, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I think I'm gonna kinda go back to create and just kinda like, just make sure these edges are nice and smooth. It looks really weird and messy right now, but just wait, just just give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease before I just go too far and mess it up, okay? I'm going back with my Marc Jacobs uh, eye primer and I'm just going to carve out the shape, the natural shape of my eyeball. Okay, I think I cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Hey, cut that. Okay, I think, I think. Hey! My dog is tearing my Apple Pencil up, bro. Okay, I think, I think, I think, I think we're on the right track. I don't know which nude I should use. Probably this one. Someone I'm feeling on camera silhouette. <laughs> All right, I think I think I'm cool with it. I fucked up. Well, but I'm gonna fix it. What else I'm gonna do? Okay, it's kind of ugly, but I mean, I gotta go. I can't. <laughs> I, I mean, I gotta go. Let me see if I can like define this crease a little bit. Oh, 
that's why I shouldn't be zoomed in. So let me just move on to the concealer. Maybe it'll start looking realer. Should I zoom out now? I'll zoom out, cause that eye is kind of, these eyes are kind of creeping me out right now. I like this one better. This one is like, it's giving third grade. What's up, mommy cake? Oh, you want some attention? I love you. <laughs> Like, really, bro? I don't like this eye over here. Ah. Mommy cake. Ah. Oh, I forgot to do my primer. See, now, cause it's ugly, I can't focus. Ah. Exactly, I can't even focus cause it's ugly. Oh. It's ugly, yeah, I don't like it. Now the eyeshadow palette, fire. <laughs> Mommy ah. cake. I love you. <laughs> Shay Shay. I love you, but come on. <laughs> I shouldn't have recorded it. Honestly though, this like I just kind of made this a little too wide for my liking. Like I gave this like too much cut crease space. And I think this is a little bit more blended than this. Mommy baby, I love you. I do. She's like, if you love me, then where's my attention? Where's my attention? Okay, boom, primer. And then I'm going to be using my Real Techniques <laughs> Concealer Brush <laughs> and NW45 Concealer from MAC. Sometimes when I use the concealer, it kind of brings it out. Now, if I use this concealer and it's still ugly, we already know, it's just ugly. <laughs> Uh, disclaimer, even if it turns out ugly, I'm still gonna wear it out because we're on a time schedule. I just had to take this L like I take all my L's like the grown woman I am. Okay, I think we're kind of getting to a point where things are not looking as weird as I thought they were. I have hazelnut and I have chestnut. Um, in the summer when I was tan tan, I was using chestnut but I think I could probably get away with hazelnut now. Let's see. Oh yeah, that tan is all the, wow, it's super gone. It's so sad. I was so fine this summer. Forehead bronze and I love it cause it makes it look shorter. Ah, shorter, ah, ah. I am just like off my game, but that's okay. Cause I'm gonna record another video and it's gonna be better than this. Y'all already know, well you probably don't if you're new here. But gotta contour that nose, baby. Cause look, it looks just like all psh, boring. But just wait. Yeah, I decided to do a neutral look because it's crooked, bro. Wow. <laughs> I don't, I'm losing my touch, bro. It's crooked AF. Wow, I don't know what I'm doing, but whatever. I don't even care, cause I got, what did I say? If it turns out ugly, I'm still stepping out. I don't even care. My future husband's not in this club, and even if he was, he wouldn't care that my makeup was ugly. Well, I don't know about that. I have, I think I know where my future husband is. But he gotta say it first, he gotta say it first. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this Becca, um, under eye brightening correct rest in peace to becca rest in peace to them they were a great brand what's the tea what happened all i know is i walked into sephora and it was 75 percent off until they sold every piece you see how it just like totally shaped my nose you see how like big wide is all outside my nose was before i added some definition to it I should zoom in more there we go, yay. Okay, uh, there's that. I'm trying to think, should I be like super full coverage shawty tonight? I think I will, because why not, right? 
Remember, uh, what was her name? Uh, 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 Hillary Dove hit this song like, why not? Why not? <laughs> My Mac Studio Sculpt Foundation NW45. If they are discontinuing this, I'm gonna have to get a therapist. This is so amazing for dry skin. <laughs> Mommy cake! You wanna say hey again? Look at the camera, look, look, look right here. Look right here, look, look. I love you. Don't leave mommy face. You wanna get on the bed or no? Okay, you're cool. This is amazing. It comes in a tube, but it's cream. It's for dry skin, it's full coverage, it's moisturizing, and I fuck with it super tough. If it looks red on camera, that's because I'm a red bone, baby. And I'm gonna be using my Real Techniques whatever type of foundation yeah wow it's so full coverage i haven't used a full coverage foundation on myself in so long i'm just trying to like get back into the swing of things because obviously with the crooked nose contour and the weird cut crease i'm losing my touch on myself shorty so why haven't i been doing my makeup um i've been in the gym a lot a lot and I just haven't been going anywhere. My skin has been like doing weird things too. I've been bringing out, breaking out more than normal, which is weird because I've been on top of my skincare like crazy. So I'm not, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, cause, and I haven't been wearing makeup. I feel like I break out less when I'm not wearing makeup, which is weird, right? I've just been like super chilling, and like anyone who knows me knows that I'm like a makeup everyday type girl and i haven't put on makeup in about in over a month which is i know for a lot of people that's like that's normal but i'm a makeup artist so and i also remember a time where i would would have put on way more foundation than this but you know you live and you learn you get older and it's just like wow like it's not that it's not like a, you don't need that much but it's like i don't know you can do so much with less but i did just want to put some foundation um down the sides of my nose to blend out that contour all right so now i think i can get my setting powder i really need to like blend this out first i think blend out this line here much better back to business what's this oh i bought some new makeup and i haven't opened it yet this is the hourglass in this little ulta bag that i just found this is a hourglass ambient palette okay i'll probably like do a video of me like using that um and i bought like some things from elf oh this brush is actually what i bought to start contouring my nose let me like put this up here shay shay where my setting powder at i found it <laughs> Maybe my under eyes should be a little brighter. And it kind of doesn't matter. I just haven't been out in so long. Oh fuck, I gotta go to the car wash. My truck looks a mess because they're building a house next door and all the little debris and shit just flew right on my truck. So fucking annoying. RCMA setting powder, the GOAT. And I'm just going to be taking that and pressing it everywhere where I feel like things need to be set, which is underneath the eye. Make sure before you set that you make sure your under eye is just super smooth and it's not like creasing already. I'm good. I think I'm ready. If you get a little powder in your eye, just blink seven times. Oh wow, I can like feel it tightening. Setting and not regretting. I hate wasting makeup. I'm going to take this Real Techniques um, 
Instapop face brush and I'm going to take my mineralized skin finish powder from MAC in dark deep because that's what I am. Press this. I like to be red. I do have a red undertone. Even the concealer that I use is a red undertone. I think it just looks great on me. Not only just, I mean that's it's my undertone, so it's not just about looking great, but it's about matching what I am. What bronzer should I use? Oh, how can I even think? Mocha Mommy and Thick Mint from Fenty Beauty. What type of question did I just ask? myself bro I'm gonna go in with mocha mommy first and then I'm gonna snatch it up with thick mint I feel like my lighting is kind of weird today but don't worry if you come back I'll fix it if you don't come back and watch my channel then I won't fix the lighting okay get into it babe yeah oh yes I'm doing this straight off the camera monitor thing no mirror Cause I want to make sure that, you know what I'm saying? I'm like giving you an experience. Okay, that's enough for Mocha Mommy, my fave. And then here's Thick Mint from Fenty Beauty. Hello, here we go. Weird. That eye right there. But like I said, if it's ugly, I'm still going out. Oh, I need to find my other earring. <laughs> now it's blush time. So because I use very neutral blush, but I still want some warm burnt pepper for MAC. It looks like this. I can use this eyeliner that I love that my puppy has chewed on. It's because I'm recording. It's because this big ass block. Oh! Yeah, that was kind of weird. Well, now I feel like I need to go back to wearing makeup every day so I can get back into the swing of things because things were kind of weird this time. Hopefully the other side matches. Watch it doesn't. Okay, mascara time. I don't know if I want to do like bottom liner. I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever um, Aqua Resist YouTube hand. Uh, <laughs> whatever. It's black, okay?
<laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've done makeup. Get a tissue and wipe off my lip balm. Even though I'm gonna put on lashes, I put mascara on before the lashes just to make sure I black out my lashes. And, um, you know, so they look good when I put my lashes, false lashes on. <laughs> Take a shot every time I say lashes. Lashes, lashes, lashes. <laughs> I'm gonna do these. Lip primer from MAC. So I'm just gonna hold, you know, condition my lips and hold on to my product. The drinks are gonna be coming, baby! I wanna overline my lips because I want them to look big AF. <laughs> I'm about to look like a clown in a minute from overlining. But I'm gonna be using my Fenty Beauty Nude and Unbutton. I'm gonna put on my Beauty Supply Store lip gloss from Ruby Kisses. Okay, I'm gonna use my Ben Nye Final Seal because I wanted to just like, no matter what, sweat or whatever, I wanted to stay on. So strong, it burns your eyes. But that's a good spray right there. Wait, I didn't spray enough. <laughs> okay, to the lashes. Before I uh, do my lashes, I'm going to be putting on this Urban Decay YouTube hand liner on. Wait, I think that spray blinded me. My puppy is knocked out. Y'all wanna see? Oh, I knew she was tired because she hasn't taken a nap all day, and she's been so busy with me and my clients all day. You know, like eating ankles and scratching legs up, my clients. But I knew she was gonna go to sleep soon. I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired. It's like, oh, my camera is dying. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And boom, I got some highlight going. Boom, I put the lash on. Boom, I'm done. Okay, so yeah, just get into this look. Neutral cut crease. Neutral everything because I want to be beat, but not too beat, but definitely beat. <laughs> First of all, this palette, amazing. Palette, amazing. The eyeshadow look I did, <laughs> not so amazing. It doesn't matter because I'm still hitting the club just like this, just like this. Ah, just. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Stay tuned for my New Year's Eve look, okay?